Hi, in this video let's see some of the tips to prevent central line associated bloodstream infection. Data says that around 1 lakh deaths from ill care associated infections are happening around the world each year and one third of the fatalities are from CLABSI that is central line associated bloodstream infection. So, it is the responsibility of the healthcare workers to prevent such infections around the world. First and foremost is follow proper insertion practices. Perform hand hygiene before insertion. Adhere to aseptic technique that is wearing your PPEs. Use maximal sterile barrier precautions. Choose the best insertion site to minimize infection and non-infectious complications based on individual patient characteristics. Avoid femoral site insertion in case of obese patient. Prepare the insertion site with chlorhexidine with alcohol. The percentage is more than 0.5 percentage. Place a sterile transparent dressing over the insertion site. Handle and maintain all central lines appropriately and aseptically. Comply with hand hygiene requirements. Bathe all ICU patients with chlorhexidine preparation on a daily basis and it is applicable for patients over 2 months of age. Scrub the access port or hub with chlorhexidine preparation. Use only sterile devices to access catheters. Immediately replace the dressings that are wet, soiled or dislodged. Change the gauze dressing every day. If you use semi-permeable membrane dressing, it has to be changed 7 days once or when it gets soiled. Change all administration sets for continuous infusion as per manufacturer's guidelines. If blood or blood products or fat emulsions that is TPN are administered, change the tubings every 24 hours. When the central lines are no longer required, it has to be removed immediately. So far we have seen some of the tips to prevent central line associated bloodstream infections. Please put this in your everyday practice. Thank you.